Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Shells here from Shell Spa Products. And I'm going to be making um, a men's soap in this video. It'll be um, Amber Crombie and Fitch um, Fierce, which smells amazing. I love that one for men. <clears throat> I also like the, um, the Hollister SoCal. I think I'm going to make that one too. In the next video but ah, my glove is giving me a hard time today anyway I've got um, everything in here ready to go and then I just put my kale and clay in here so I'm gonna buzz that up real quick <laughs> got a little piece of cocoa butter stuck in there too that just didn't want to melt chop him up too <laughs> Got my silk in there, all dissolved. Okay, <clears throat> go ahead and get that mixed up. So, um, the colors I picked for this soap, um, were, well, I'm going to do some white, and I'm also going to do, um, uh, for Rustic Essentials, I have Caribbean Kiss, which is like a nice teal. It's a really pretty color, if you can see. My lighting is terrible, but, um, but that's what I'm going to use, and then I also have, um, Blue Vibrance from Nurture Soap supplies. Um, so let me pour some off. Pour that one. Pour some off of this one here. Now that's about right. Okay. Hmm. I need to restock my mins. I really hardly have anything left, so. Here in about four weeks, I'll have some. Also, I'm gonna do um, titanium dioxide in here. That looks nice. All right, now I'm going to add in the fragrance here. Got it back here. Mmm, it smells so good. Remember any of the men's fragrances misbehaving either? They seem to always do well. Mmm, this one smells fantastic. I love this scent. <clears throat> Ooh, what's that? A little stick blended anyways, a little bit of icing in there. Oops. All right. 
<clears throat> I'm not even going to mess with the white one. I'm just going to give it a stick blend. So let's do that again in reverse order this time. causes some fragrance oils to rise and whatnot. I have no idea, but I don't usually have that problem, but I've had it twice this week, so I don't know if it's because of the temperature. I don't think that would matter, but I don't know. So many variables, <clears throat> but it looks okay now. Just had to give it a little blend. So um, anyway, let's get ready to pour this one up here. Hmm, I think I'm going to hang or swirl this one. I've got my mold ready right here. I think, yes, I think hang or swirl. <clears throat> Actually, let me pour the green on the bottom. I'll just kind of do a green. A little bit of white. I was just thinking I haven't like done just a regular pour it and leave it kind of pour in a long time, but I just got to get in there with that hanger. I can't help it. getting there. This is definitely one of my favorite soaps to make because it smells so good. Starting to get pretty thick though, but that's good. This white on there. Sorry if I'm blocking your view. 
<clears throat> Alright, there's all the white. Just gonna try to cover the top. enough and then I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of this green on here and get that whoops get some of that down here Of course I won't glitter this one since it's a men's soap. <clears throat> Gosh, I'm so excited for those um, bottles to come from Rustic Essentials. That's going to be a fun video to film. I'm curious to see what scents everybody's going to be making this year. Like, <clears throat> I just don't know. I can't get into the pine cone scented things for Christmas. I just, I don't know. Maybe some people really like the pine scented soaps. I just don't care for that, so guess it's really not what I care for is it <laughs> I'm not the one using it but still I just I don't know it's I don't know give me some feedback like about the like Christmas tree sim and things like do people actually like those soaps or do they use them or is it more for decoration or I mean I guess people use it they sell it All right, let's give that, give that little thing there. Let's see if I can get this blended in some. Oh, that's pretty. Got some of this green over here. And there is the Abercrombie and Fitch um, Fierce type. So um, stay tuned and we'll get this cut here in just a moment. Thanks for watching.